While visiting African refugees from Libya at a transit facility in Gashora, the Norwegian Minister of Justice and Immigration commended Rwanda for hosting the asylum seekers, saying that countries of resettlement are now able to assess the individual cases in a peaceful atmosphere. I uh, want to appreciate uh, the initiative from uh, Rwanda to help evacuate um, um, vulnerable refugees from Libya to, uh, to Rwanda. And that uh, makes us the possibility to assess their asylum case uh, while they're at peace and we can do it in a proper manner. And we can also uh, try to ha stop the human smugglers route. Because in Libya there are 650,000 migrants, only a few of them are uh, uh, real refugees. The rest of them is economic migrants and I don't want to get uh, uh, permission to stay in Europe anyway. So we are trying now to stop the migration flow over the Mediterranean Ocean by uh, only taking out the resettlements from camps like this instead of saying yes to those who are taking the vessels over the Mediterranean Ocean. Some of the asylum seekers at the Gashora Transit Centre expressed their gratitude to the Rwandan government for hosting them and giving them asylum in the country. Also, let me to uh, send my thanks to everybody here in Rwanda and also uh, the government of Rwanda and uh, specifically the Bolki Gami. The one who spoke out and really said that those people who are in Libya, they are one of us and they are African, that's why uh, they, uh, they, they accept to evacuate us uh, in Rwanda here. And really, you know, I appreciate them and I appreciate uh, everyone here in, in, in Rwanda for their uh, generosity and hospitality. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Emergency Management, Olivier Kayumba, said that there are plans to receive more refugees, but currently there is limited space at the transit facility. 200 more refugees haven't come yet because there is currently no space, but we are trying to look at options, whether it's expanding this place or a different place in order to have somewhere to accommodate the remaining refugees. This facility can only take 500 people, and since we have slightly more than 300 now, we are okay. UNHCR External Relations Officer Elise Vileshelein called on other countries to follow the example of Rwanda and other countries that are opening their borders to vulnerable refugees from different African countries. Not pledges from any other African country and this is why we are calling other country, not only African country but other countries in general, to step forward and follow the example of Rwanda but also the example of Norway and other countries who are opening their border and asylum space to welcome some of the most ref uh, vulnerable refugees in Africa. On the 10th of September last year, the Rwandan government, UNHCR and the African Union signed an agreement that saw African nationals rescued and evacuated from deplorable conditions in conflict zones. The Gashora Transit Center currently has 299 refugees from Eritrea, Somalia, South Sudan and Sudan. Seven of the refugees have already been resettled in Sweden. Fatima Tessi reporting for RTV, Kigali.